Hi everyone, today we're going to go over translating words to expressions. Many common mathematical words like add, subtract, difference, adding up, multiplying, dividing, these terms should instantly click in your brain and be like, oh, when they're talking about the sum of two things or they're talking about adding two things, we've got to use the plus sign, right? So today we're going to go over just the basics of translating words to expressions. I have a few problems here uh, and some keynotes up here. So the best strategy is the one method. That's the, this is the best strategy that we're going to be using to translate words to expressions. When you see a math problem that's got multiple words and you don't know how to solve that word problem, you want to box some key words, which I'm going to show you in some of the problems today. Box the important words, eliminate the information that's not needed. So the E stands for eliminating that information. What strategy will help you solve the problem? Then think about the strategy and then look for the total because ultimately you want to solve the math problem. So you want to know what the answer is to that problem. This will make more sense as we solve our first problem. So let's look at the first problem. Let X represent the amount of money Anne has. We don't know how much money Anne has, but we know she's got X dollars. Write an expression for how much money each person has in relation to Anne. Okay, so Anne's got X dollars. So what do we know here? We know that Anne has X dollars. Okay, so I'm just going to write it right here for reference. How much money does Anne have? She's got X dollars. We don't know. Maybe it's cents, dollars. We don't know. So Anne's got X. Marco has three times as much money as Anne. So let's box the important words. It says Marco has three times as much money as Anne. So when you say the word times, what operation comes to your mind? So Marco has three times. So times stands for multiplication. So Marco has three times X. That's how much money Marco's got. Three times. Times is multiplication. So you're multiplying three and X. Now, let's talk about Olive. Olive has six less than Anne has. So let's first box the important words. The only important words we need here is how much money does Olive have? Six less. Now think about it. When you say the words subtract, take away, less, difference, what operation comes to your mind? So Olive has six less than Anne has. So Anne has X, Olive has six less than Anne. So it's gonna be X take away six, or six less than X. Now, let's look at the question. If Anne has $20, how much money do they all have together? So all we are doing, guys, Wherever it says X, we're going to put the number 20, right? So, Anne has X, so that means Anne has $20. Number two, Marco has three times Anne's money. So, how much do you think Marco has? Three times 20. It's going to be three times 20. So that's $60. And then let's look at Olive. Olive's got six less than Anne. Anne's got 20. So how much do you think Olive's got? 20 take away six, which is gonna be $14. So again, let's review the strategy best strategy what we did is we boxed important words three times six less x represents the amount of money Anne has if Anne has 20 how much do they all have together 
So let's box. It's asking us how much do they all have together? Again, that keyword together, think about it. If we're saying together, sum of, addition, what operation comes to your mind? It's addition. So we're gonna add Anne, Marco, and Olive together. So we're gonna do Anne plus Marco plus Olive. And what we get is 20 plus 60 plus 14. Plus 14, you get $94 is what they all have together. Okay, now let's translate the phrases to algebraic expressions that you see here in the next part of our video. So first thing it asks you, five more than two times a number. Twice a number increased by seven. Nine less than a number. Two times the sum of a number and eight. Nine times a number decreased by four. So what we're gonna do is we are going to first box those important words, right? So five more. So we know there's more than two times. Again, I'm boxing that. A number. We don't know what the number is. Okay, so once again, five more than two times a number. First, we don't know what that number is. So what could we call the number? Just like in the last problem, we're going to call that number X because we don't know the number. Now, think about it. If it says more, what operation comes to your mind? It's going to be five. Yep, you got it. Five more is going to be five plus two times. When we hear the term times multiplied, what operation are we thinking about? Five more than two times, which is two times multiplication, two times X. So that's how we write five more than two times X. Number two, twice a number increased by seven. First, we're gonna box twice. Then we're gonna box a number. We don't know what that number is. We can call it X, A, B, C, D, whatever you wanna call it, okay? Increased by, so we need to write that now. Think about it. Twice a number. What do you think is going on here? When you say two times, another way of saying twice is gonna be two times. What operation comes to your mind? So twice, which is two times a number, we're gonna call the number X. So two times X increased by. Another way to say increased by is gonna be sum of, addition, add. Twice a number increased by seven. Okay, now let's look at the next problem. Nine, less than a number. Let's box the less than and a number because we don't know what the number is. So we're gonna call the number X. So first, nine less than a number, okay? So we know the number is X. We're gonna call it X. You can call it A, B, C, whatever you wanna call it. It's X, but in this case, we're calling it X because we don't know what that number is. So we're gonna call it X. Nine less than X. So when you think of less than, what operation comes to your mind? Nine less than X. Now, let's look at the next problem. Two times. So I'm going to first box times. The sum of a number and eight. So first, when you see two times, it also stands for two multiplied by, or twice, two times. So what operation comes to your mind? Two times the sum of a number and eight. 
What are we going to call the number? What have we been calling the numbers that we don't know, the unknown numbers? We're just going to call them x. Two times the sum of a number and eight. What do you think I should put in the parentheses? It says sum of. Other ways of saying sum of would be addition, add. X plus eight. Nine times a number decreased by four. Nine times a number decreased by four. So I'm gonna box the, num the word times. A number, we don't know what the number is, so we're gonna call it X decreased by four. Okay, so first let's look at nine times. What operation? If in the last problem two times was two times or twice, what do you think nine times? What operation are we gonna what, what operation are we going to use here? Nine times a number decreased by four. A number decreased by four. Decreased by, another way of saying it is minus, subtract. What do you think we're going to put inside the parentheses? X minus four.